foreign policy experience is not the same as foreign policy wisdom. I want everybody at home to note that I was the first person to say we need a reasonable peace deal in Ukraine. Now a lot of the neocons are quietly coming along to that position with the exceptions of Nikki Haley and Joe Biden who still support this what I believe is pointless war in Ukraine. And I think those with foreign policy experience, one thing that Joe Biden and Nikki Haley have in common is that neither of them could even state for you three provinces in eastern Ukraine that they want to send our troops to actually fight for. Look at that. And this is what I want people to understand. These people have, I mean, she has no yeah. idea what the hell the names of those provinces yeah. are, but she wants to send our sons and daughters yeah. and our troops me, and our military equipment to go fight it. So reject this myth that they've been selling you, that somebody had a cup of coffee stint at the UN and then makes eight million bucks after, has real foreign policy yeah. experience. It takes an outsider to see this through. Look at the blank expression. She doesn't know the yeah. names of the provinces that she wants to actually fight for. And there's a puppet yeah. master yeah. right there, the donors. Let the donors me, right there that are playing enough, like the puppet okay, master. Hold on, hold on. Let me just say something here. You know, his reasonable peace deal in Ukraine, he made it clear. Give them all the land they've already stolen. Promise Putin you'll never put Ukraine in Russia. And then trust Putin not to have a relationship with China. Let me tell you something. That's no That's reasonable. That's not my deal. That's that, not my yes, deal. Yes, it's exactly what I'll, you said. I'll you do this at every debate. I'll just, I'll you exactly say, no, 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 don't interrupt me. I didn't interrupt you. Okay? You tell say this. You, you do this. At, you go do this at That's every money. debate. You go out on the stump and you say something. All of us see it on video. We confront you out on the debate stage. You say you didn't say it, and then you back away. And I want to I'll say tell you what. Exactly no, what I, I said, Chris. I'm not I done yet. Well, this now is now look. This is and no, nonsense. Nonsense. This man is spewing. No. This man is spewing nonsense. Let me tell you something. This is the fourth debate. The fourth debate that you would be voted in the first 20 minutes as the most obnoxious blowhard in America. So <laughs> shut up for a little while. I'm gonna, I'm gonna respond to that. I want to say something else. We're now 25 minutes into this debate, and he has insulted Nikki Haley's basic intelligence, not her positions, her basic intelligence. She doesn't know regions. She wouldn't be able to find something on a map that his three-year-old could find. Look. If you want to disagree on issues, that's fine. And Nikki and I disagree on some issues. But I'll tell you this, I've known her for 12 years, which is longer than he's even started to vote in a Republican primary. <laughs> and while we disagree about some issues and we disagree about who should be president of the United States, what we don't disagree on is this is a smart, accomplished woman. You should stop insulting so her. So I'm going to take this I'm going to take several times over. Yeah. So first of all, I think we just learned something from Chris Christie. We hold learned on, three things. Let, we ahead. learned three things right there. First of all, Chris Christie also doesn't know what provinces in eastern Ukraine he actually wants us to fight for. Chris, your version of foreign policy experience was closing a bridge from New Jersey to New York. Yeah. So do everybody a favor. Just walk yeah. yourself off that stage, enjoy a nice meal, yeah. and get the hell out of this yeah, race. Let, let when it comes to Nikki, I think if you're going to actually send your sons and daughters while, to go while die you in somebody else's voting, war, while you, you better, voting, excuse me, Chris, I'm speaking, and I'm not done yet. I you had your the chance, time when you and we're going to be done. So listen up to this. Is If these people want to send your sons and daughters to go die in Ukraine, they've been arguing for it for a year. $200 billion of our taxpayer money sent over, neither of them could even name for you the provinces that they actually want to protect. And this is the people who have been touting their so-called foreign policy experience. It is intellectual fraud. These people are lying to you, the same people who told you about weapons and mass destruction in Iraq to justify that invasion, didn't know the first thing about it, yet they sent thousands of our sons and daughters to go die. The same people who told you the same in Afghanistan, where the Taliban is still in charge 20 years later. Seven trillion of our national debt due to these toxic neocons. You can put lipstick on a Dick Cheney, it is still a fascist neocon. Thank and you, you Mr. Ramaswamy. See that today. Thank you, Mr. Ramaswamy. Dick Cheney all over again okay. in this party. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.